obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, we will simulate diesel fuel combustion in a gas turbine combustion chamber. In this project, we will simulate the combustion process of diesel fuel inside a combustion chamber of a gas turbine system. The function of combustion chamber is such that the airflow enters the chamber from the space around the chamber and then passes through a diffuser duct with blades, becoming distributed and enters the spatial combustion space in order to better mix it with the fuel. On the other hand, the fuel flow is injected into the space inside the chamber through a nozzle and is mixed with the gas flow. As a result, the combustion process takes place. The fuel used in this process is diesel, which reacts with airflow. Airflow enters the combustion chamber at the velocity of 3 m per second and a temperature of 300 Kelvin, and diesel is sprayed into the interior of the chamber at velocity of 4 m per second and temperature of 300 Kelvin. The aim of the present study is to investigate the mass fraction of reactant and combustion reaction products. The present 3D model is designed using Design Modeler software. To simplify the model, only a part of the original model is drawn. The air enters the inner part of the chamber through a diffuser duct, including the blade, and the fuel inlet is through the small circular cross section inside the chamber. The meshing is done using ANSYS meshing software. The mesh tab is unstructured and has 3,488,000. 57 cells. By clicking on display button, a new window will appear which you can see different part, parts of your geometry. Now there are several assumptions made in this project. The first one is that the type of our solver is said to be pressure based since we are dealing with incompressible flows. Uh, also the velocity formulation is taken to be in absolute form. Uh, about the time study we have selected the steady time study since we want our results to not be as a function of time. After double clicking on the species button, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, you can see that a species transport model is activated with volume reactions. Also under the options section, you can see that diffusion energy source is activated, which means that the software will include the effect of enthalpy transfer due to species diffusion in the energy equation. Also, you can see that eddy dissipation model is activated to account for the turbulation in uh, our model. And under the mixture properties, you can see that the mixture material of gas oil air is selected. Uh, by clicking on edit button, a new window will appear, which lets you change the properties for this mixture. Also, you can change the component material uh, of this mixture in that window. Um, also, you can change the component material in the material section, which will be explained in next slides. As was mentioned in previous slides, after right-clicking on each mixture and clicking on Edit, a new window will appear. In the appeared window, under the Properties section, you can see different properties defined for this mixture. Also, in order to add a new material to, the, to this mixture, you can click on Fluent Database button, and a window will appear. In the appeared window, you get to choose between a list of material where you can add to your mixture components. After clicking on Fuel Inlet Boundary, you can also see that the type of this boundary is defined to be Velocity Inlet. Again, by clicking on Edit button, a new window will appear in which you can change the setting for this boundary. Now in this window, the main thing you should pay attention to is that the gauge pressure defined for this boundary is equal to zero. And finally, by clicking on the Species tab, you can see that zero diffusive flux has been defined for all the species, which means that no species can pass through this boundary, uh, and it can uh, no species can be generated on this boundary. After double clicking on the residuals button, a new window will appear. In the appear window, you can see the absolute criteria for equations like continuity, x velocity, y velocity, and so on. Now, when you set the software to start the simulation, there would be error between each iteration. Now, if that error is less than this criterion, it conveys the meaning that uh, that equation has reached convergence.
After double clicking on the run calculation, a new window will appear. In the appear window under the parameter section, you are able to set the number of iteration you want your simulation to progress. Uh, after defining the number, by clicking on calculate, the software will start the simulation process. Now in this 3D contour, you can easily see how the temperature inside the geometry has increased after the combustion process has initiated. Now in this 2D contour, you can easily see how the fuel mass fraction has distributed inside the computational domain. You can easily see the mass fraction of fuel uh, has the highest value after just leaving the fuel nozzle and after entering the combustion zone, the fuel mass fraction decreases. And finally, in order to see the velocity vector inside our computational domain, you just have to click on uh, vectors and then accept the period window. Uh, again, on the low left side of the software window, in front of the location, we have to select our defined plane. And after selecting the plane, by clicking on apply, the software will show you the velocity vector. Now, in the velocity vector contour, you can easily see how the vertices have been generated on the upper part and lower part of the geometry. Finally, a summary of different settings and setup that we have used in our project is presented to you in the slide. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com.